In this video, I'll talk about three questions. First, why did we select energy and climate as one of the specializations for your global executive master? Second, how did we organize the specialization into three courses? And third, why us? Why are we well placed to offer you this experience? Now, to answer these questions, I thought let's reconnect and let's remind you about the big objectives, the high level objectives of your master. First objective is to engage with cutting edge policy issues. Now, energy and climate, of course, I don't have to convince you, are some of the most pressing issues of our time. And we've also seen a lot of policy development. That's why we thought, let's organize this in three courses. The first one on the big picture, what's going on. Second one on energy markets, because we think they are really driving uh, the transition. So it's really important to understand how they function. And third, are cities, because in the end, it's about citizens and how they will cope with all these changes. And at the city level, we see often a good combination, a very interesting combination of energy issues with mobility, with water and uh, waste. OK, then why us? Why, why are we well placed at the EY to deliver you this experience? Now, the good news is we've already been working for years on this topic on energy and climate. We've also interacted with thousands of professionals. We do a lot of policy advice, we do policy dialogues, but we also do capacity building for policy professionals. And we do that not only by interacting with high level uh, policy experts, but we also have some of them among our faculty. Just to give one example, Jos Del Beke, the father and grandfather of the EU emission trading scheme, will be part of the faculty uh, of this specialization. Then the last objective of the master is to also develop your managerial and analytical skills. And for this, we have other colleagues like myself that will be happy to give you some more technical background to understand what is going on in this field uh, of policy. Just to give two examples, we've had the Brexit agreement. The trade agreement also talks about electricity markets, so we can have a conversation on what's written there and does it make sense. Another example, sometimes we have a crisis. For instance, we had a Norwegian cruise ship exiting a German harbor, and it almost caused the blackout of the entire electricity system in Europe. So how is that possible? And what did we do to try to prevent this? OK, I think I've explained you a bit the specialization. Now I hope to see many of you uh, in these courses. See you soon.